Okay, so this this video is showing a well, Acapulco Gold style clone circuit on a breadboard. Um, this is the same as my Sunstroke pedal, but this is um, showing all the parts hooked up uh, to a breadboard. So then we can modify the circuit, um, as in change out some of the capacitors change out resistors, change out the operational amplifiers and try different stuff with it. So this is just the standard um, circuit. I'll put my little diagram. I'm going to do a diagram of this so that you can follow it. I'll do a little breadboard diagram because you can see all the bits there but you can't really tell what they are. And I'll break it all down um, just to demystify all this stuff. Um, so basically I've just got it hooked up with some crocodile clips um, it's really basic, and I'm just going to do a quick playthrough. It's going to be very raw, it's not going for an amp. It's just going for a couple of PC speakers, so it sounds a bit crap. I'm not going to put it through, I didn't want to put it through my amps at the moment, because I didn't know what was going to happen. So when I crank up the volume on my guitar, the pedal comes to life. sound as good as it does through a um, actual amplifier obviously but that's what it sounds like the raw sound of this pedal so I'm just going to take it apart and I'm going to show all the bits that have been used <laughs> Okay, so my first experiment with this, um, I swapped out the diode for a red LED and it didn't do anything. Um, then I swapped it out, what it's got in there, the diode is a 1N4001 diode and I swapped it for a 1N4007 and to my ear it actually sounds a bit better, it just sounds a bit smoother, I don't know what it is. sounds a bit more, so it's got a bit more bass in it, just a bit more substance to it. I think the 4007 diode was a replacement to the 4001, so maybe they made some improvements to it, I don't know, but it seems to have done something to it to make it better. I've got on the screen the diagram of this breadboard circuit and the components you'll need and I'm just going to quickly do this now first we've got the operational amplifiers I'll stick those in uh, weirdly enough these go head to head so they're pointing head to head um, that's shown on the diagram so I'm going to chuck these in there and three spaces there like that. Then we've got a 100 UF and the negative is going, the positive is going in the positive hole. The negative is going in the negative. Fit that in there like that. Get the diode. The diode negative is going to the positive like that. 1 UF Uh, that's going to there, that's going to that leg there, okay, there's another one UF over here, negatives to the left, it's like that, 
10 UF. Okay, got this 10 UF. That's going to that leg. That's going to there. Then this one. It's a bit weird because it goes from there to there. Which is fine. This one is going to go from that leg there to there. Okay, 68k resistor. That goes from there to there. One mega ohm. It's going from there to there. The thing is, I don't really like our breadboards. It doesn't. It all feels scratchy at the bottom. It doesn't feel like it's in properly, but it is because it works. But like, just one thing I don't really like about it. But anyway. Then we've got this going from wait a minute, there to there. Now this 100k resistor, I don't know, I don't think I actually need it, so I'm going to try it without it. Just If I don't need it, I'm going to amend this diagram. Right, now I need to put all the jumpers in. This is where it gets fun. Now what I'm going to do that you probably don't have is a test box. And this is just so it's easy for me. You can't see it. A test box just so it's easy for me to connect um, with this to, to, to my guitar. Like I just prefer using this just because Otherwise, I'm going to have crocodile clips all over the place. My crocodile clips are just in there. So it's just all it is is a positive, negative, input, output. And then the thing's grounded because it's a metal case. Okay, so I've got my negative. I'll put that in the positive. Duh. It's the only thing. It's like the top should be positive and the, top, the bottom should be negative. It just makes it a lot easier. I know I've done that because the breadboard that I'm looking at, the diagram, has got the negative in a different place. Okay, so the negative goes there, and then I'm going to plug this negative in to my test box. Um, so it's like that. And then my positive lead goes from there, and that goes to there. That's those two in. Right, okay. Then we need one goes from here to that pin there. And this one to this one. Me another orange one. See, I have a big bag of jumpers here, so you like that's what you need. You just need a lot of them on hand. That goes to that pin. That pin. See, it's hard to see sometimes. Okay, some more. Okay, I've got quite a long one here. This goes from the positive right round to this one here. 
see all of these things they all go they're all linked all down here like vertically so it's one thing to know and then this is going to the ground it goes to there so I think I've covered all this side okay so I've got an output I'm going to make my output yellow and I'm going to make it a really long one because I need to get it to the test box which is over there so my output tip goes the end of that resistor like I said I'm pretty sure I don't know need that resistor so I'll do one test with this resistor so that's going to my output tip oh it's just come undone I don't like crocodile clips they're just they're not very... yeah. Okay, my input tip is there. And that is going to go to there. Alright, so now we've got... That's why I'm going to edit this video for all of, just to make it really quick because otherwise it's going to go forever. So that goes to ground. This starts getting really fucking fiddly now. That goes to ground and that goes to the other end of the diode. Um. Okay. Got that, got that. Right. Now I've got this pin here. Oh, God. Goes to ground. I have another one. But that pin goes to ground. going to ground. Actually this time I'm going to put it through an amp. So it actually sounds like decent. Output to output. The input goes to my guitar. I'll just do a clean tone first just to hear what it sounds like. That's your clean tone. I'll whack the volume up a bit. So there's no doubt that that works. I just want to turn that off. Um, now what I want to know is whether I need this resistor. So I'm going to pull this resistor out and then I'm going to put my input next to this capacitor there. Because I'm pretty sure I don't need this resistor. I might be wrong, but let's see. It sounds like it still works. All right, sounds a lot more fizzy without that resistor in it. So, for some reason, that resistor is just making it sound less fizzy. So 
So it's up to you whether you put the 100k resistor in or not. If you want to take it out, then put the output tip to the uh, negative of that 1UF capacitor. Um, I'm not sure whether I like it or not. I'm just going to put it back in. Yeah, it just seems like it tames it a little bit. So it depends if you want a full on whacked out distortion or if you want it a bit tamed, a bit brought in a little bit. Seems to be acting a little bit like how the volume pot would act if you had a volume pot on this. So um, I know that in my Vero circuit, I don't have this 100K, I have a volume pot. So maybe if you make it in a box, take it out and put a volume pot on instead. I'm just gonna show the setup that I've got here because obviously going through to my test box and that goes all the way through. I've got a orange micro dark there and that was being played through that Marshall head. All right, so you should be able to build yourself a pedal. Cheers.